Hey everyone, in tonight's uh, free newsletter, I want to talk a quick bit about uh, about a Euro trade that we had, um, and and basically just using uh, Fib extensions to find predictive levels of where the markets are going. Now I talk about this all the time, but I think a lot of traders don't realize the po how powerful this can be when you learn to use them right. So um, last night or early this morning, if you were up and up, if you were up late, there was a sell signal that we had on the euro and it was up here it was an actual it was actually what we call a low risk ratio trade and we took the sell here and we had stops just placed above this high now the reason why we have our stops placed above here is specific parts of the rules it's not like i feel like putting stops there i only want to risk 20 pips or anything like that it's it's more along the lines of this is why we're putting our stop here because we only we know that about 30 percent of the time it gets hit right based on rules again very specific but the great thing about trading fibs is having a predictive level of where the markets are going. A lot of traders, when they get into trades, one of the things that I've noticed the most is uh, people take profits off just purely based on uh, how much they feel like making. So you'll get into a trade like the, 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 let's say, a euro here, and you'll be like, okay, my first target's at 20 ticks. And a lot of times I'll ask traders, well, why did you pick 20 ticks for that target? Can you tell me why you pick 20 ticks? Is it Have you quantified that you get 20 ticks X percent of the time? And most of the time, you most traders are unable to answer that. They're like, well, you know, I just, I think 20 ticks is a good profit. And, you know, that's fine and dandy, but the successful traders out there don't do that. They don't pick profit targets based on just how much they feel like making. What they do is they pick, they pick profit targets based on, back testing and, and quantifiability so one of the nice things about fibs and one of the things that we use here at ratio trading is finding predictive levels of where the markets are going by using fib extensions so you know you had the sell here and then we had like a first target right around here and then we look at a second target or retest here and then we always say if the market breaks below this breaks below or breaks above in this case breaks below if the market breaks below here and closes, that's the key word, a break and a close below this low, where can we expect it to go? And that's where using the extensions can be really powerful. So I measured from here down to there. I'm just going to drag it over to the right-hand side, and you'll see why in a minute. And when we broke below, and I'm going to drag, I'm going to kind of move this so you can see the timeline of what happened. We got the first target, we got the second target, and we trail stops accordingly. And you'll see right here, we got a break and a close. So our first expectation is a move, which you can see right here is that 127 extension. That's the first place that we expected to get to. So we got to the 127 extension right here. You can see that. And we're like, all right, well, 127 is extension's been met. You know, if you're hanging on to a third or a quarter of a position, time to take some off or trail stops aggressively. Then what? If the market breaks below that, where do we expect it to go? The next place is where? The 1618. Again, it, those of you who don't know, the 1618 is a golden ratio, okay? And actually, we're going to be talking about that a little bit at tomorrow's free webinar. But when we broke below here, again, we have an expectation. Not a guarantee, but an expectation based on quantifiability. And we say, if the market breaks below here, we expect to move to the 1618. And you'll see exactly what happened there. Where did we go? When we broke below the 127, we literally went to the 1618, the lowest low here was 135.94, two ticks away from that 1618. So again, it's never going to be exact all the time, but you see the power and you see how the market just stops right there and decides to make a pop back up. So the important thing is, is it's really nice to be able to have an expectation and saying, all right, well, I'm going to sell them here based on my plan. I'm going to place my stop here based on my plan. I've got my profit one, my profit two. And if the market moves in the direction and continues to move, I have an idea of where it will go and where it might find some resistance and bounce. And in this situation, this was good for almost two, or nearly 200 pips in just one night. So I just want to show you that and I want you guys to understand. It's great to be able to trade. We all love trading, but you need to implement rules and you have to have expectations, not just randomness. All right. So hope that helps. A uh, couple quick announcements real quick. All right, the first announcement is tomorrow at 12.30 Eastern, uh, midday, we're going to be doing a free Fibonacci trading webinar. We're going to talk a little bit about what Fibonacci's are, 
um, which I'm sure a lot of you know, but some of you might not know. Um, we're going to be talking about what we do here at Ratio Trading. We're going to look at some markets together. We're going to talk about how ratio trading in general will really help and can be very helpful in your trading. So if you're interested in, in, in checking that out, it's totally free. Just visit our website. It's ratiotrading.com. And in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a thing that says sign up for our live webinars. You can click that and then scroll down here and it says Friday, February 12th, uh, 2010 at 12.30 p.m. Eastern. So you just click on that. I'm also going to hyperlink it to you at the end of this video and just fill out your information. You'll get an email before the webinar starts, I, be, I believe an hour before, and uh, you'll get you'll be able to log in and it's totally free. The other thing that I want to, uh, other announcement is on Monday, or I'm sorry, on Tuesday, I'll be speaking in New York at the New York Traders Expo. Uh, my speech is between 8 and 9 a.m. Uh, and then I'll be hanging out for a couple of hours afterwards. So if you see me, feel free. And if, if, if you're there, just feel free to stay, stop by, say hi. We won't have a booth, unfortunately, this time. Uh, just got a lot of other things going on. But uh, look forward to seeing you guys there. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you guys at the next video update.